Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all are doing well and having a great week. I'm finally back with another budget video. I am so excited. I feel like I haven't done a budget video in so long. I think it's been like a month or so, which is completely crazy, but um, honestly, it was my birthday month. I had a few unexpected purchases come up so I just honestly kind of fell off I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and I wasn't the best at budgeting and you know with budgeting that is what happens sometimes you're not your greatest and sometimes you know you're really on your game so I just wanted to tell you guys that you know it's okay if you're not budgeting perfectly we're in the middle of a pandemic so definitely I think we should be able to give ourselves some grace for sure with everything going on but for today's video I'm actually going to be starting to do my budget with me so you guys can see what I do actually before I go to the bank and bring you guys my cash stuffing videos. So I'm really excited for this. If you guys like this type of content, definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you're not already. Also, I feel like I'm mentioning this in like every video, but I am on a new um, camera, so I am able to see everything a little bit clearer and easier. So I hope that this is something that you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay, so I have these but paycheck breakdown sheets from yours truly printables I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my 2020 budget planner at the moment But I have some ideas and I think that maybe this will be incorporated into it But bef let's get into this budget with me before I start talking too much Let me see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. I couldn't do that before all right, so this paycheck fell on 11 20 and I get paid from my full-time job if you guys are new here I am 26 years old my birthday actually just passed um, I work full-time in the medical field I do not share my income here on my channel but um, I show you how I budget everything and things like that so um, this is so I got paid on the 20th, it is currently the 22nd, but I did some of my bills, So, but I'll go through everything with you guys so that you can see what I do. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So um, let me see. The f this is the fixed expenses section, which is also technically called your bills. Things that come up every month that you know the amount pretty much and how much you pay and what date you pay it. So I have my Dropbox subscription, which is due on the 20th, which I already paid. So... Um, that's great and that is $11.99 and I also am trying to have just a separate bills account where I just transfer my specific amount of fixed expenses to this bank account so that I don't have it messed up with like my other bank account which I have that is kind of not more for spending but like has more things connected to it where I can spend money from my bills without realizing if that makes sense so I'm this first one which is Dropbox I'm going to put CP next to it Oh, CP why am I putting CP I'm actually gonna put CO for Capital One because I'm trying to set up my Capital One account to house all of my bills if that makes sense so next up I have Spotify which is due on the 23rd um I love Spotify I don't think I could ever get rid of it it's just like so good so I'm gonna put CO next to that as well Next up on the 27th, I have my my Discover bill, which is $96, and that is still set up with my other account, so I do want to switch that over eventually. Um, next up on the 28th, I have my Pick Monkey, which is what I use to edit my thumbnails for my videos and everything. It's so great to have. It just makes edi editing thumbnails so much easier. And I do believe that I set up my um, 
Oh no, I haven't set that up yet. Okay, so I have to set that up to be on my um, Capital One account as well. Next up we have Adobe, which is my editing software. What I use to edit my videos, which is $22.70 per month. And then next up on the 30th, I feel like all of these are like back to back to back, my goodness. <laughs> I have my iCloud subscription. If you guys don't have iCloud for your iPhone, I highly suggest it. It just gives you so much peace of mind. And then I have 12.1 is my Patreon. I subscribe to this girl. I've explained this multiple times. Um, and it's just $3 a month and I love to support her. And then lastly on the second, I have Disney Plus. And I am never getting rid of Disney Plus because it is literally my favorite thing ever. All right, so all of that equals, let me get my calculator out. I really should have my other calculator, but I can't find that right now. So let's get into it. All right, so. $11.99 plus $9.99 plus $96 plus $12.99 plus $22.70 plus $2.99 plus $3 plus $7.48 equals $167.74. So I always just round up to the nearest dollar. So I have to have $168 in my account to pay for my bills until the next paycheck. And then I always go ahead and transfer this amount over to my Capital One, whatever I have set up with my Capital One. So something new I'm doing for my variable expenses, which is pretty much just like my groceries, my gas, um, everything like that. I'm actually not doing cash envelopes for these anymore just because like with everything with the pandemic and everything, I know that a lot of people are like iffy with holding um, cash and handling cash and I don't want to make anybody else feel uncomfortable. I don't want anybody to make me feel uncomfortable. So I do have like a um, credit card set up where it's just like um, it's through TD Bank. So it's pretty much like a cash card. So I just put a certain amount of cash on it per week, um, per paycheck, I mean, so that I am able to buy all of my stuff easily and I don't go over budget because I only put the amount on my card that I can spend for my um, variable expenses. So these variable expense expenses include my groceries, so I already spent my money for this week for groceries, so I'm only budgeting 75 for groceries for next week because I really went a little ham. Gas, I'm going ahead and budgeting 40 just because um, I've been going a little bit more places and everything and I just want to have enough. Next, I have food out which is still going to get its $25. Roger is still going to get his um, 10, but his other five, I do have a sinking fund for him, so I'm going to put that on this side. And then fun is going to get 30. So that equals, let me see. You guys, this is like real and raw because I didn't add any of these amounts beforehand. So, plus 25, plus 10, plus 30 equals 180. So, that's how much I have to have on my card to go shopping and do everything that I need to do. And now moving on to our sinking funds. So something different that I am starting with my sinking funds as well. I have a lot of sinking funds. If you guys are new here, I like to take my money and put it places and tell it where to go because that way I just know what I'm having, you know, savings and I know what I am saving up for. I save up for literally every little thing that I think of. Like sometimes I'll be laying in bed and be like, oh, I have to start a sinking fund for this. So it just really gives me peace of mind knowing that I have this money saved. Um, it, di it works different for everybody, of course, but I personally just like to know what I have, um, 
knowing that I have money saved up for different purposes, if that makes sense. So I'm going to have two different sets of sinking funds because some of them I do like have like a set goal for, if that makes sense, um, that, you know, is coming up or something that I just would like to have more money in. And then I have another set where I don't necessarily need to stuff it every paycheck. It's more of like a luxury. Um, it's more of something that I just don't necessarily need to stuff. And I stuff that with my second paycheck. So I'm not stuffing them. I'm not stuffing all of my sinking funds every paycheck because it was just getting to be a lot. And like, I feel like some sinking funds weren't getting as much as other ones. And this way, I'm pretty much able to like double what I was putting in my sinking funds anyway. So it adds up anyway, if that makes sense. Like I'm just doubling the amount, but only stuffing, stuffing them once a month, if that makes sense. So I have my first round of sinking funds, which is things that like, um, not necessarily have a due date, but I would like to stuff like the first of the month, I guess, if that makes sense. So the first one is the vet for my dog, and that is going to get $25. Um, next up is the groomers. And this month he's actually getting 110 because I do have an appointment set up for him on Tuesday the 24th. I wanted to get him done before Thanksgiving just so that he looks, you know, his best. I know I'm so dramatic, but I just love my dog. And I, honestly, he really does need a haircut. So I'm just taking the full amount out of this um, paycheck and then um, starting my, not the next one, but the following one, I'll start um, budgeting how much it is per paycheck. So. Next up, we have car, which is going to get $200. Um, I am st in the process of buying a car right now, and it is so stressful, you guys, but <laughs> I am so excited. So car insurance is going to get $25 as well. Um, savings is going to get $250, but I already transferred that, so I'm not going to... Um, put an amount just because I know it will throw me off so I'm just going to put that but just know that I always transfer this so the first thing I do is I transfer $250 to my um, savings account so as soon as I wake up so savings I can't spell savings challenge is going to get 25 and this is just something for myself just to have like a little extra on the side emergency fund which is my cash emergency fund is going to get $25 as well all right taxes is going to get 10 um, this will get more once I get paid again from YouTube. I always like to take out a chunk of my YouTube check um, because that money is not taxed so Medical is going to get five dollars. Amazon is going to get 16 because my Amazon payment is due in April and I want to have the full amount by then. Roger is actually going to get um, ten dollars into a sinking fund just because you know he always needs things so I just feel it's best to have that. And then Christmas is going to get $100. I actually used a lot of my Christmas fund to buy this camera for myself because if you guys didn't know, I had issues with my other camera and I was really missing filming. And, you know, although YouTube isn't like my full-time job, it is something that I'm really passionate about. So I wanted to, you know, keep up the content for you guys. So I did go ahead and do that. So um, I'm blessed enough where I'm not worried about Christmas because... Um, I know I will have the funds replenished um, so I can buy my family gifts. So moving on, that is actually all I'm going to be stuffing this paycheck. I'm going to go ahead and add all of this up once again for you guys. So 25 plus 110 plus 200 plus 25 plus... 25 plus 25 plus 10 plus 5 plus 16 plus 10 plus 100 equals 551. Why does it equal 551? Because I don't think it is. Let me try again. So it's 550 
551 is a total that I will be taking out from the bank. Actually, I'm not going to be taking out 551 because I'm going to leave the money for the groomers um, in the bank because they charge me automatically, like it's a no contact type of thing. So I definitely want to notate that. So technically, I am taking out 441. So I'll just write in parentheses. $441 so I can leave that $110 in the bank. All right, so moving on, guys, this is going to be the cash envelope breakdown, which is one of my favorite things to do. So for the paycheck date, it was November 20th, which is actually my best friend's birthday, which is so funny. So vet is going to get $25. And I always mess up, so it's going to get a, can you guys see? A 20 and a 5, okay? So groomers is not going to go to the bank, so car is going to get $200, and that's going to be two $100 bills. Car insurance is going to get $25. And that is going to be a 20 and a $5 bill. Savings, we already did. Savings challenge. I can't spell. Is going to get 25 as well. So another 20 and another five. Um, let me see, emergency. Is going to get its 25 and that's going to get another 20 and another five taxes is going to get ten dollars so I'm going to do that with two fives because I can't take out ten from the bank I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if um, maybe I can arrange it where I can take out because uh, I'm trying not to go to the teller but we'll see. <laughs> Medical is going to get $5. So I don't know how I'm going to swing that. But, oh no, I can't take out fives. Yeah, so whatever. One, and then Amazon is going to get 16 so that's going to be a 10, a 5, and a 1. Roger is going to get his $10, which will be one $10 bill. And then Christmas is going to get its $100. And that's going straight to the $100 bill. Four hundred and forty one dollars So let's try and do this. This is where I always mess up. So we're taking out three one hundreds zero fifties Four twenties two tens one two three four five six seven eight fives and a dollar bill so this should equal three hundred twenty times four Four, I can't do math. 80, right? Yes, I just want to make sure. Plus 20 plus 8 times 5 equals 40, and then 1. Okay, so 300 plus 80 plus 20 plus 40 plus one equals 441. Oh my God, guys, we did it. So that is how I do that. And now I go ahead and as soon as I find my tape, and just tape these two pages into my um, workbook that I have here, which is just a spiral um, notebook right now. And then I go ahead and take this information right here and I take it to the bank. Um, 
And yeah, so this is it for this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. Make sure to check back for my cash envelope stuffing video coming at you very, very soon. I didn't want to combine them because I feel like this video is already going to be so, so long. So yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like budgeting videos as much as I do. And yeah, I hope that you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you in my next one very soon. Bye. Oh, <laughs> oh,